team and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Agile Tester Extension. We are in Chapter 3. We are looking at 3.4 tools in Agile projects. And the next topic in this is Test Design, Implementation and Execution Tools. So you should not be very surprised to look at this option or this topic because from the foundation we already know about these tools and we have been through such understanding that what these tools can be useful for you within the testing life cycle. But moreover in Agile as well we do have certain support from the tools which helps us to manage the data, maybe execute the tools or execute the test, manage the reports or also help you to prepare your test data. So let's understand what kind of tools do we have in terms of test design, implementation and execution for Agile testing. So first of all, we have test design tools which generally helps you to quickly prepare certain test cases or tests which would be required to be prepared. So we generally have a lot of in-house tools in Agile organizations where generally people prepare the test scripts with help of uh, capturing the code which has been written and that could quickly convert the script into a test format, maybe like JUnit, XUnit, and all those things. So your unit frameworks can be easily created with help of test design tools, which would be easy for you to populate your unit test cases as well. When it comes to test case management tools, of course, test management tools can be used in a lightweight just to manage your test cases, which will be monitoring how many test cases have been written, how many test cases have been executed, or what could be the status of that, whether pass, fail, how do you monitor them, all those things can be done with the help of test case management tools. The test data preparation and generation, generation tool helps you to prepare a huge amount of data or different combination of data when it is required to populate certain things which is required for your test cases to assist. So these data manually created based on the scenarios could take a lot of time and could be hectic to try with all possible combinations sometime. So generally these tools can help you to prepare those random set of data or maybe specific set of data in different combinations what you want and can be generated to be used for your executions. Further when you talk about this data load tools it is also important that when it comes to uh, importing the source from an external seat or external data source to the execution or environment, it requires a manual interface or framework to be created. Rather, you can also have certain test data load tools which requires a simple authentication to extract information from an external tool and import to the test execution tool as well. So these kind of tools are called as test data load tools. Automated test execution tools I don't really think yeah, I have to tell you something more about this. You will be already knowing a lot of automation testing tools, which generally automates your manual testing, where a script is required to be written and the manual intervention will be minimized or lost completely, where the entire activity will be done with help of automation scripts and all your activities will be automated with help of automated test execution tools. So generally, in Agile specific, we do have different approaches as you know from the previous tutorials like test driven, behavior driven, acceptance test driven. So there are tools in the market which can assist or accommodate these kind of environments as well and allow you to perform the same. Following that, we do especially get certain exploratory test tools which will be most useful in the Agile methodology where exploratory is a lot conducted where exploratory test tools basically helps you to capture the execution because we do not have specifically written test cases at concrete level, then these tools basically allows you to quickly take snaps while you're navigating uh, on the application and at least help you to capture those moments or observations which you find during the exploratory sessions. This could help to understand other stakeholders that what was the issue all about, whether this observation is keen to be understood or explored further or not. So to justify such things, so we do not have much documentation, thus these exploratory test tools can help you capture the events. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. I think that was really interesting to understand more about the tools from the Agile perspective. We will be coming back with another tutorial on the same. We have one more tutorial to go from this particular chapter and uh, this series. After that, we'll be having sample questions from this chapter. So till then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep understanding. Thanks for watching the video team. Happy learning.